Boys, the $180,000 MCS Ultimate Kickoff Tournament was this weekend. Let's get through the games, boys. I'm going to voice them over. Let me know if this is what you want to hear. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Let me know in the comments if this is what you guys want. Boys, what's up, man? This is the tournament, the $180,000 Ultimate Kickoff MCS Tournament. This was my first game of many. Uh, you know, great time to play in a tournament. This is what Madden's all about. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys tuned in on the Twitch. If you didn't, you can find that. The links are below on the Twitch to watch all these games live this weekend. So uh, this is the first round. I was ranked 17th. That was my spot in the leaderboards. The 17th from playing all the last weekend or all the weekend before uh, ladders. I went about 17 and four in ladders, something like that. So. Got ourselves in a good position in ladders, man. That's really what you want because then you'll be able to warm up, get a couple games against the 200 seeds. There was actually 200 plus people in this tournament. It really was. So uh, for me, sometimes not getting a buy. Top eight actually got a couple buys. So actually getting a couple rounds time to, uh, you know, being able to play a couple games is a good thing for the most part, you know. So, start the game here, man. This guy's in a little tight offset. If you guys know I've been running tight offset probably for the last week or so, and I really like it. Uh, it's good against this meta defense right here, the uh, one or the three-three loop blitz. That's why I really like it. That's why I went with it. That's why I, I really started using it because it, it combats the man-to-man -man defense very well. So does a lot of tights in the game. Uh, but the, the uh, tight offset has that run that you see him go to as we get a tip ball right there. He's looking for the deep pass right there. A lot of people like that deep pass. Not me so much, but a lot of people like that. But it really combats this defense well with the 0-1 trap and the quick corner routes and things like that. So right here, I'm going to run the loop. But you got to watch corner routes, really. So what I like to do is I like to put my outside corner, or my outside deep blues as we get... Uh, ooh. We get a big knockdown here. You see Moss is safety. I like him because he does match up well with these parums and these tight ends and everything like that. So I keep him as safety. Got a fourth and nine here early. He's actually going to go for this. You know, and this is a situation where uh, early in the game, he gets to show you a dot that he needs. He needs a dot right now. What does he go to? Pretty much. You see, I got a hard flat here. We're only rushing four people here. And uh, he just throws anything. So, I didn't have anybody on the running back right there. I didn't. I thought he blocked the running back, and the running back went out. So, I had to guard the running back. He just snapped through that one. It was, I don't want to say it was blind. He kind of That was kind of a dot that he needed, a dot that he went to when, obviously, fourth and nine early in the game. He needed that, went for it. So, he got it, got that catch, but I'll remember that. And as a player, you got to remember dots like that for later in the game if he wants to go to those later in the game for sure. So, for me, at least I learned one of his big dots he likes to go to. So, right back in the offset. Um, I got to watch the run here. I got to watch the running back and obviously corner routes right here. Lawrence Taylor stops the run by himself. Gets him to another passing down. Third and six here. Uh, like I said, to stop these corner routes, I really like putting my... Obviously, I'm playing man, but man is not going to stop the corner routes. You're actually going to get cooked by corner routes. So for me, what I like to do, and I don't know if you'll see me do it here. He comes out and gun flex right here. Another formation, another need dot. Like he needs a dot right here. What is he going to go to? What's he going to cook up? And I got cute. Left the running back unmanned. I just sometimes I guess, like, is he going to block the running back this time? I don't have to put a running back on it. You know, you get third and long. He's probably going to block the running back, but he didn't there. You know, I so saw I overthought that and got, you know, got hit with a little dot right there. So he has, he's having a little decent drive. I mean, two big passes he needs. So, and he got him. So for me, uh, you know, just got to remember those dots. Remember what he likes to go to in the clutch. We've had a big third and long, we've had a fourth and long. He got both of them, but he's shown me a lot of his favorite plays. Uh, so we got to go ahead and take those away. Next time it comes down to it, they're right there, Cam Chancellor. Now, Atwater came out, boys, and that means I moved Cam to one of the outside linebacker spots. I'm not going to use her Cam anymore. We're going to use her Atwater because he's just so much faster. Uh, and we get another one here. Third and eight, Trey Y flex. Looking for dagger here, looking for corner routes to parm. I'm going to put my safety in a hook curl. You see the setup there. I put a deep blue on the left to stop corner routes, hopefully, and then the hook curl there for slants and anything like that. As you see, boom, we get that pressure, we get that loop, and he gets to the fourth and eight right here. I think he's going to take three, so that's great. Feeling good about that. You know, he, he got a couple passes that we're going to take away later in the game, but he gets a three, he gets a field goal. And, I mean, 
I don't want to say it's a win, but it's it's not a loss. It's not a, not a loss. You know, I would love to hold him to no points, but giving up that field goal there, you know, we can overcome that for sure, no doubt about it. As we're going to get a kickoff here, we're going to get a kickoff here, and we actually got the ball to 25, so we didn't return the kick. Setting a couple audibles here. I have a philosophy with audibles, boys, and one of them is uh, I like to keep the run audibles Y, a quick pass as X. Just like it always is in the game. And then I like to really replace that that uh, quick or that play action audible is the one I want to replace. Right there, we hit the slant over the middle. He's in the loop man coverage. This is what I mean. This offense was made to combat this meta defense. That's why I like it. That's why I've gone to it, you know, for the most part, you know, because it's man to man. The person guarding the running back is actually all the way on the left. You see him moving him in the box now. He chases him again. Another free slant to Justin Jefferson. And we're going to pick up a good 20 plus yards right there. We're two for two, 38 yards right on slants because he has to guard the running back. The other thing I love to do against this defense is just snap the ball right away, man. You got to find plays in your arsenal that you can snap right away. One hot route, two hot routes max, maybe one slide protection hot route, and then get the ball out. Uh, as you see right here, I'm going to go keep running the same play. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I might quick snap it again. I do. He's got to guard the running back again. At that time, he puts a yellow zone down for Jefferson. If you guys saw, he put a yellow zone to stop the slant. So what do I do? I hit the corner route up top to Moss, and we're inside red zone, 12-yard line. Loving it, but he switched his defense up right here. Now he's going to a clean cover three look. There's one safety high, obviously. He switched his defense up, went to zone. So we're going to try to get a little runny poo popping and, you know, just get stopped by itself by accident. Nothing doing there. That might take it to the, two, the second quarter, you know. It depends. Uh, as the as a top 20 seed and I'm facing a 200 seed, I feel like I'm obviously a better player. So I don't always want to extend the game. Sometimes I like to, you know, or I don't always want to finish the game so fast. You kind of want to extend them because the longer the game is, the more the better chance you have of beating a lesser opponent, you know. But can't take anybody lightly here. We need to get seven here in the red zone, uh, second and eight. So same cover three look here. We want to hit this corner route to Moss, but uh, the main thing we want to do is we definitely want to streak to take a deep blue out to the back of the end zone. And I think I'll do that here. You see, I put Devontae Adams on a streak. That's going to take the outside left corner all the way to the back of the end zone. If you watch that develop, outside corner goes to the back of the end zone, and we get the corner to Moss. Boom. Touchdown. Easy. Pitch and catch when you tell a good opponent your defense is kind of free right there. And we're going to go, go up 7-3. to three, Put this forward. He's going to try to run the ball. This is next drive. We go over there all over the ball. Cam Chancellor holds the edge. Now, I had a decision to make. Do I use Cam Chancellor or do I use Micah Hyde as an outside linebacker? So I stuck with Cam because it's just more physical. Uh, bigger body, maybe better against the run here. He's trying to do something similar to me. He has the drag open. Doesn't go for it. Goes up top to Moss. And Carlton Davis gets his feet in. Just a bad read. Uh, like I said, people love that corner route, and that's why I love put. If you guys see, if I can watch this again, I put I put the outside left um, corner in a in a third over there, so he helps Moss. Moss almost has a double team. He does. It's a double team on Moss. You're not going to catch that. So all these guys throwing corner routes on you guys, man, mix in that adjustment, and you'll have them just chucking the ball up in the air, man. That's definitely what you want. Uh, especially you know if they were just looking downfield. So he just got a touchdown scored on him. He wants to catch up. And we're able to get that big play. Now let's try to mix it in the run. Ideally, we'd like to take this whole second quarter and score a touchdown. That would be ideal. But we'll see how it works out as the run does absolutely nothing. As the run normally does absolutely nothing for me. But he did a good job blitzing right there. Sometimes you guys love contain. Sometimes just blitzing is better. And if you notice, he switched up his alignment right here. He's going more, less blitzing. You see his D-line is spread more. His nickel corner is on the other side now. So more three-man rush, more coverage. As we hit this in route to Justin Jefferson again, he's just killing over the middle. Great new card, man. If you guys don't have that card, I don't know how much he's going for now. But, man, he's a great wide receiver on your team. Uh, a lot of people have Andre Reid. I stuck with Devontae Adams. I really like him, and he's in a spot that, doesn't do too much for me. Here, I noticed he's going covered, so I'm going for a covered three beater. I'm going for a one play touchdown here, and we're going to get a cut. But what? We throw a pick. I really never expect that route for me is money, like just money. Uh, before the play, you see the off coverage on the corner. Like normally, I always catch this. So I'm, this is a trust read for me that he's going to beat man coverage. I have short in on uh, Justin Jefferson. You see it light up, and he just. 
kind of got beat on the router. I don't, I, you know, like I said, if you guys watch me play or if you watch these videos, I, I hit that post route a lot on man coverage. So for me, it was really just a trust that he's going to beat man coverage, man. So that's a pick that let my opponent back in the game. Can't have that. I, I would make that read and that throw probably again and really just anticipate that he would, you know, beat that man, beat that man coverage. But it's okay. We'll play defense. You know, we'll get this guy to chuck another corner route. As you see my adjustments there, we're going with a, a third on the left and a third in the middle. Nothing deep. I don't want to get beat by anything, you know, post routes or anything like that. And he actually, ooh, that third actually played that little out route. That was nice. We get to a third and nine. You see he's two for seven. Feeling good about the way this game is going. Trey Y flex again. Last time he ran this, you got to remember he ran dagger. I'm not going to do the same adjustments. I'll probably keep a third on the left side to stop the corner route. He quick snaps here, almost level sails right here, and he goes for another corner route. Could 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 really, it could have really been a pick again. The same adjustments. I tell you, man, start putting those deep thirds on your man to man, and they'll shut corner routes thinking it's open, man. So we could have got another pick there. Here he goes with that stack again. Remember, he threw to the tight end last time. Remember that tight end whip route. He's gonna cover it, but he actually anticipates, and that was that was actually a good throw. I thought he would throw that. That whip route is really good and it's going to get open on man. So I went and jumped that and he hits the post back behind man. So that was a, a nice little dot. He's low key had. He's low key had a lot of success in these other formations other than when he goes to tight or trips tight end. You know, these these gun stacks and spreads that he goes to actually have been all his money dots. Really, when he goes to these ones, he's just guessing. Really, I defend these really well. Hits the drag. Finally, a good read and we missed that tackle and. But Cam's there to clean it up over there on a... I think that's a CD Lamb. Yeah, so that pick has kept them in the game. We're at the two-minute warning here, boys. We got to we gotta get off the field, get the ball back. And we get the ball at half, so no touchdown here. He's closing in on field goal range. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little run. There it is, 0-1 trap. But there's Lawrence Taylor again tackling that in the backfield. We get him to a third and four right here. Time is ticking. He goes right to the line with it, no huddle. Same thing, tight. We're going to stop corner routes. That's our goal right now. We got a man up everywhere. Want to guard this? Somebody fell down for him, and we get a knock. Oh, he caught it right there. I want a knockout from Carlton Davis, who has medium knockout. Doesn't get the knockout there. Randy Moss catches the ball there. He gets a first down. Another big dot. Another big dot from the opponent. So I mean, we have he has looked bad, but every time he's needed a big dot, he's come up with a nice one. As we get him here inside, uh, close to red zone, he goes with play action. This means everybody's on a streak. Going to try to chuck it up here to Moss, and you know. That's the name of the game. Try not to get, you know, teabagged. That time, my deep blue did not get back in time. I think he bumped into somebody. Didn't get all the way back. And yeah, yeah. So we get a one-on-one. -on -one. And I went for a SWAT because SWAT is really good this year. And we'll get the ball back here with a minute and 13, two timeouts. So he misses the extra point, which, you know, just tells you how nervous this guy is. But here he goes. He's back to the three-man rush. We know that because the D-line is spread out wider. He's not. It does. It's not a blitz look right here. Once again, three-man rush. I hit Randy Moss on a slant, man. People talk about beating man coverage. For me, don't forget about a slant, boys. A slant is the man coverage beater. It always has been in football and real football, and it's really good in this game. It really is. So use Moss with that short and elite. He's able to get a big gain right there on first down. Now we're on corner route. I think he's in zone here. That's my pre-snap read, so we're going to wide side corner route with the streak to run off any deep blues we got a drag we got an in route behind it we only got a three-man rush we know that but it is man coverage here and we're able to step up get nothing and then move up with aaron Rodgers, get a yard i think i'm going to go back to jalen hurts for those situations because i've i've gotten so much trouble trying to scramble a rod who's actually slow as a i mean he's just a turtle in this game there's that post route again i didn't like it he's kind of bagged again we're going to have time here, and we find Justin Jefferson breaking off of that man coverage. Big gain inside the 20-yard line right there. So we're in field goal range. We can take the lead. We get the ball at half. Things is all good as he does a backflip out of bounds. Things are looking good when your team is doing backflips. Uh, we got plenty of time, two timeouts, so everything is available for us here. And once again, A-Rod, we're going to try to scramble. We're going to get down. Nice first down. Now we're going to let the climb time click a little bit, man. If we can get an end zone here. End of the second half, double dip the chip. We get the ball back to start the second half. Things will be great. That's my goal right here going on this drive. So we're going to run the ball. We got Derrick Henry on the team for these situations. Just start trucking and blah, blah, blah. 
down to the one. We're going to call a timeout. 14 seconds left. We got one timeout. Uh, so we can run again. But this is my philosophy is that we're going to have three play. We're going to have three plays here. Two plays, really. So you can pass on second down. When they don't know if you're going to run or pass, you know, so you're going to pass. That way you get a touchdown or you get an incomplete and the clock stops and still gives you that same run pass option on third down. If you run on second down and have to waste your last time out, now you, the run is no longer an option on third down. You want the run to be an option on both of these plays for the opponent. Here you run commits. Easy touchdown to the flat route over there to Parham. Easily. Because... I kept the run pass option in my in my offensive call, man. If you guys go there and run on second down and waste your last time out, the next play is an automatic has to be a pass. So it makes your the opponent's life tougher or easier because they got they can completely eliminate the run because you can't run with no timeout. So we take a five point lead here in the halftime, and we get the bottom. You know, he just throws one up. We get the ball. Third quarter, we get the ball. We have a five point lead. Got to get some things done. And we're going to run right here. Derrick Henry, we're going to bounce this one outside. Uh, as soon as I put Henry in, I wish I had the faster mixing. But he picks up probably my best run of the tournament right there. Big gain down the sideline. Looks like about 24 yards. See? Sometimes you want Henry just to get, a you know, some, some tough yards. But then we'll put mixing in the next play. And then... Yeah. You, you get the new center and... Yeah, you get the new center, and I don't even remember his name, but he got to hold sap a little bit longer and makes him get out of here. This time I flipped the post route play. Once again, he's in man coverage. We want to send everybody out here. We're going to be wide open, and we're going over top to Devontae. And Ronnie Lott, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, man. I run this play a lot. We'll go into this play again, man. And I put a streak on Moss, who's the fastest car at 89 speed or whatever, and 88. So he's supposed to run off that deep blue so he can't make this play. You know, and I, like I said, I would throw that pass again. And maybe I'd do, maybe I'd do that pass a little bit too early. I got to let him run down the field. but So that's two picks on that play that I normally throw a lot and kind of get away with it right there. But Ronnie Lott got me right there. So we're back in the game here. He throws in the flats and breaks a tackle on a play that shouldn't got any yards. But it gets one yard. Here we go again. Second and nine. He goes corner route. Nice play. He's out of this little eye formation. So he's going deep into the bag of I don't know what to do right now. So and here we end the game. Now, this is easy. People say, how do you lurk? Well, you got to know before to play. What's my responsibility? You know, and this is bunch. So uh, I'm going to always most of the time put this deep blue over here. You see the play art. I put that over there to stop corner routes, right? But then I put the safety, who's normally on the tight end, I put him on the outside receiver because he no longer has a man on him. So if you look at the play art, everybody's accounted for except the tight end. So my responsibility on this play when he snapped it is the tight end. If he goes on a drag, a slant, a streak, that's my main priority right now. And I see him go to the flat, I just take off. And that guy saw it too. So right now, that's his first read, right? Now, maybe in a couple weeks here when we're going to pass lead a lead or we get Gunslinger, he can get this ball out before I can get over there. But with his read right now, he's throwing to the flat. And my read is a defender, too. Like, that's going to be open, you know. And, but, you know, Aaron Rod or he actually has Lawrence. Maybe if he has Rodgers, he can whip this ball in here. Or even if he throws a high ball on this, he doesn't throw a pick. But, you know, he just cocks back, throws the ball in the air, just an easy interception. Take it to the crib. That's pretty much, that's pretty much going to... You know, I'm not going to say end the game, but, you know, we already turned the ball over twice, kept him in the game a little bit. He doesn't have too much. He doesn't have too much in the tank to compete, especially being down 12 points now, man. That's definitely tough. I don't know where he's going to find 12 points or two touchdowns on the field here. I don't know if he can muster up two touchdowns right here. As he gets hits again, fourth and 20, he's going to go back to gun stack. Right here, I just go 30-yard clouds and yellow zones, and we're dropping back here. Goes up top. I hit the good swat. Knocked the ball away. Beautiful. 21-9. to nine. Now we might just get low and run the ball here. We actually put it on conservative. And this guy's going to fall to the flow. GG. So that's the first game, boys. I mean, it was definitely, uh, definitely made it a little tougher than it should have been, honestly, with those picks. But those picks are those that I've thrown before. 
I have thrown those passes, completed them, and it was just a little bit different on those plays, man. But that was the first tournament game. Uh, nice to get that one out of the way. I can't make the mistakes going down. Let me know in the comments if you like the way I voice this over, talk about it, break down why I do things. I hope you guys learn something from this video and learn something from everything going forward, man. So like, comment, subscribe. Is this a good way to do the videos, boys?